Hello. I'd like to offer some thoughts on alternative transportation and my use of the electric bicycle. Now, I have some thoughts about the high gas prices and internal combustion engines as related to transportation technology. In my lifetime, I've seen technology just go advance beyond my imagination. For example, when I was a child, they had records, record albums on vinyl disc. Then they went from vinyl disc to 8-track tape. The 8-track tape to cassette. From cassette to CD. Now the MP3s. Any player MP3 is an MP3 player, which is this big. Computers. From punch cards to personal computers to I have to my cell phone, which probably has more computing power than they had on the whole Apollo 11 space program. So with the adv rapid advance of technology, you're telling me the best we can do for transportation technology is 19, early 1900 technology of the internal combustion engine. I have just got to wonder about that. It just doesn't seem to make sense. So my answer to high gas prices has been the electric bicycle. And it's been a good deal for me. I've had this bicycle here for over a year. I have approximately 1,400 miles on it, so it's very durable. The place for the electric bicycle, or any electric vehicle, is really at this point of the technology for in-town running errands. And that's what I use my bike for, for going to the store, picking up some light groceries, or going to work. With the lithium-ion battery I have on this bicycle, I can get about 35 miles between charges. Typically, I will take it into work, which is a round trip of about 15 miles, and charge it overnight. Next morning, take it back into work. And my gas prices have really, my amount of gas usage has really went way down. I will typically fill up my gas, my gas in the car about once a month. When I average it all together, it works out to approximately 45 to 50 miles to the gallon. When I figure out my total mileage on a bicycle, if I was doing that all in the car, what would be, and the, uh, in the mileage I'm putting on in the car. Yeah, putting it all together, about 45, 50 miles to the gallon, which is actually comparable to the best hybrid they have out here. Now, my electric bicycle is a hybrid type, which means I pedal with it. I don't just put on the throttle and let it drag me around. The more you pedal, the farther you get. Let me show you the different pieces of my bicycle as if this is a real important issue. I got this bicycle, I put it all together as a kit, and I got the electric hub from a place called E-Bike Kit. It's been a real quality motor for me, 500 watts. It came perfectly true. I haven't had a bit of trouble with it. Double walled, 18 gauge spokes, and on both of the tires, I put these extra thick inner tubes and I haven't had any problems with flat since I've got it. And that's, at least not since I put the heavier inner tubes in. It runs on a, we have a thumb throttle here. I, and I usually just use enough throttle to, to keep me going. I accelerate fast out of the stops, out of the stop signs. Nothing makes a Ferrari matter than me beating them to the uh, end of the intersection. I have a speedometer. Uh, keeps so inside to keep track of my miles, how many miles I'm putting on it. I have a little light that I use for riding at night, and I have a mirror so I can see who's coming up behind me. In the back here, I have the lithium-ion battery inside here and a controller. I also have these bags, which I can actually haul quite a bit of stuff between the bags and a backpack. I'm surprised at the amount of equipment and groceries I could carry with me in a day. Now, the electric bike may not be a solution for everyone. I live in Southern California, and the only thing that really stops me in Southern California is if it's raining, which doesn't happen that often, so I get quite a lot of use out of it. So this solution may not work for somebody who's living in Anchorage where it's pretty cold, but for me, it seems to work really well. I've cut down on my gas prices, it's been really durable, and I could suggest it to anybody who would be interested in such a thing. You can always contact me and I'll give you any information I have available. There's also a lot of sources online. Anyway, that's my electric bicycle. Thanks a lot for watching.